Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So traders, into this video, I wanna just do a bit of a, just a weekly market uh, recap or what's likely to come moving forward in what I'm seeing from the charts. Um, moving forward, we're gonna look at obviously the indices and also uh, silver and gold. Also gonna be talking about um, some stocks, the earnings and so on and so forth in this market. So that's what I'm gonna be looking at today. Guys, um, very first thing in the description, if you haven't grabbed the free trial to the Master Trader Lab, then go do that right now because um, yeah, anyway, when you log into the Master Trader Lab, you'll be able to see some some gifts and some bonuses that I'm adding to the Master Trader Lab. So click on the very first thing in the description or go to mastertraderlab.com. Let's get straight into the the the, uh, the markets right now or the indices right now. I want to start with the Dow Jones first and then we'll go from and then we'll go from there, okay? Firstly, when I squeeze up my charts. Now, first when when we're looking at the market, a lot of people look at the market like this. And they go, okay, so we've had this small bar, we had this bar. They see how it's only been like really a couple of weeks, you know what I mean? Uh, actually, yeah, it's only been like a couple of weeks here. What's really important to get a, because you can't really see much through here, you know what I mean? Like you can't really see a good, it's one of the, one of the techniques that I really learned of is looking at the market and reading the market is is understanding where are we right now? And, and I used to look at the charts like this here, and I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that that I was looking at the wrong way. What you do is you squeeze it up, and now because I've squeezed it up, now I can see. For example, see how vertical these moves have been. The overall flow of the markets, I get a I get a much better gauge of where we are in the markets by squeezing the chart up and not looking at it over the last couple of months, or last couple of weeks to a month. But looking at, as, as you can see, looking at the flow of these legs to see where we are right now. So what is the market telling me right now? Firstly, we have been we have been very, very, very nicely, pretty much vertical to the upside. We've got the rate announcement coming, we've got the rate um, coming out very soon. And, uh, and, and, and the market has been breaking up to new highs. And the interesting thing is that when we look at this here, okay, when we look at this here, this is all time high for for the Dow Jones. Okay, all time high for the Dow Jones. And we can see how it's actually just rejecting this this point through here. And now we're just going sideways through here. So we can see how that this this point all through here has just been going sideways. If we do if the market holds here and we start to get a nice close below back below this previous high point, 27,000 then that would that would probably cause a lot more of a drop in the markets. If I go to the S and P five hundred now and do the exact same thing, let me take everything off the screen here. I know there's a lot of lines there. Look how vertical this move has been to the upside. Very mo a lot of the times when you get this big vertical move, like not just uh, you end up getting a nice what we call a, a a price and time balance or a a a balancing in the market. So when, when the market goes up, when the market goes up like this, yes, it can keep going up. But there's a good probability we're likely to see a pullback, not a crash or anything like that, but a pullback to see the market balance itself out. Makes sense. So yeah, we've, we've, we've had a lot of buyers coming in. Then we see a bit, a bit of a profit, profit taking opportunity. The market comes back and then the market keeps flowing from there. And then moving on to the NASDAQ, same thing for the NASDAQ, right? Look at this here. The NASDAQ has broken up to all time new highs. And we're still in this if you remember, if you were watching my videos the last couple of weeks, if not, then this is what you call a bullish looking, but it's a reversal flag. And the reason why I say it's a reversal flag is that um, is that when the market goes up very strong and then we slowly stair step up like this, as you can see, we've been still in this bullish looking, but it's a reversal flag. What we what we need to see now is we need to see the market, if the market starts to close back below this, if the market's just gonna sort of just do its thing through here, but if we start to get a close back below this level through here, this is sort of this uh, this sort of 8100 level, then that's going to be the cause that I believe to see a bit bit of a pullback in the markets. And we're seeing that, uh, and, and that's what we're seeing there right now on the NASDAQ. So that's what I'm seeing there guys on the indices. The whole, the whole what I'm seeing here right now is that we have been rallying quite strongly, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see a bit of profit taking or a bit, a bit of a balancing in the price and time or the bit of the price of the market, just to see, just to see a nice, a, a nice little uh, balancing out in that. As you can see, right, we when we when we we do get vertical price action, but we generally get some sort of a pullback in the markets. 
and um, so that's what we're seeing there for for um, on the um, that's what we're seeing there right now um, in the in the Nasdaq and also uh, all, so all the indices here. Moving on to silver and gold right now, it's really interesting to see what's happening with with silver and gold. If I take everything off the screen here. As we can see, right, we've been running up, and now we're just pretty much, pretty much just being going sideways. So, I, it, to me, I believe, um, and again, this is just my, um, this is just my thoughts. It's not, it's not the way that I'm trading the markets. And it's really interesting, guys, that when I do these videos, I'm just doing it based on what I'm seeing on the charts, okay? But when I come to my trading opportunities, I only trade based on a proven plan. Make sense? So they're two different things here. I might say, you know, gold and silver, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when I trade the markets, I only trade based on something that has proven to me. Makes sense? So right now, it, it does look like this probably, it's probably going to keep going sideways for a bit just to build up a little bit more time before it starts to see, before we start to see a, a maybe a, maybe a, a, another move to the upside. Um, and 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 that's that's what I'm seeing there right now, guys. So um, the thing about price and time is that, as you can see, right, when the market gets too far away from the 50, this is the 52 moving average, guess what happens, right? We get a nice little, we get a nice little pullback eventually to that. So we got pretty far away from the moving average, didn't we? So what's happening right now? The market's actually having a bit of a rest. The 52 is catching up. So we may be getting ready for another another run soon. Um, it may, maybe another week or so. We're getting ready for all that there. And moving on to silver. Silver has just broken out very nicely as well too. Broken above this resistance here, which is a very, very key area. Um, very nice run up through here. That's This here has changed the tune completely. If I go to my weekly chart now, then this here has changed the tune completely of where we are right now. So um, may, may, again, maybe maybe a bit of a bit of a sideways move, but a bit of a profit taking in silver as well too. Um, but I definitely am very bullish for silver and gold uh, long term as well too. So that's what I'm looking at there, guys. Now let's move on to uh, something that I'm seeing here. I, I'm seeing the the cracks for the next recession are starting to happen just underneath our feet. And what is that? We're starting to see the earnings come out um, in in a, in a lot of these earnings, right? Like for example, Amazon. If I look at Amazon, uh, Amazon. Right. If I look at Amazon, Amazon. I think Amazon uh, had its earnings recently, and it came. I think. I think. I think it was maybe j just below expectations uh apple had its uh earnings uh no apple i don't think apple has had its, had its earnings yet um you know you saw netflix as well too netflix gapped down as well too uh we did see google google actually gapped up uh, google right google actually gapped up but what we're starting to see now we're seeing a lot of the companies instead of beating the estimates we're now saying we're now seeing them actually being equal, or or some of them like Amazon being below expectations, which is uh, which is which is a sign of the slowing of the economy, right? It's just a, a sign of slowing. So the cracks are starting to show underneath the surface. Now the cracks for the property market have have been showing for the last couple of years, right? If you've been, uh, you, what I like to do is I like to keep I like to watch you know like. Uh, Josh Altman, um, you know Ryan Sohan, those people from from Million Dollar Listing, Los Angeles and and New York. So I watch their vlog as well too. Not only do I watch the show, but I like to watch their vlog. One because I because they're playing at a higher level game, right? And so I'm learning from them all the time. But secondly, you'd be able to get a pulse on what's actually happening with the markets just by watching this, their, their their vlogs as well too. Um, and plus it's inspiration. So you can see what's actually going on through there, right? You can see how now the cracks are really, really starting. Now, again, the property market has been has been slowing down for a couple of years. Um, same, same for here for in Australia. So that's what I'm seeing there right now, guys. And on top of all this, I want you to be very, very, very careful who you listen to. And you need to question everything, all right? You need to be questioning, you need to question everything that you are doing and that you're thinking about these markets. Do not be hopping on YouTube like you are right now and saying, okay, well, this guy says this, that this, this, this must be true. You may, you may be listening to someone that it seems credible in this industry. Um, please be careful who you listen to because there's a, a lot of these people out there and I'm not naming names and I'm not going down that way, okay? Is subject, is the information is biased to getting you to do something, you know what I mean? Um, and so, so for example, that, you know, for the last couple of years, people have continued to say, um, 
Yeah, well, actually, I, I won't even go there. But you know, it's uh, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to question everything, and I want you, I want you to be careful who you are listening to, and you got to ask yourself: Is the information I'm getting right now is that actually helping me get better at me becoming a really good trader or investor in the markets? And how is that moving forward? And I must say, guys, the number one person that you should be listening to, the number one person you should be listening to out of everyone in the marketplace is Ray Dalio. He is the number one person that you should be listening to. Okay, because there is no one out there more. There is no one out there more that has correctly and almost almost correctly gotten what's actually happening in these markets okay so many people thought that their interest rates so many people that were credible in the youtube sphere or the the, the investing sphere thought that that the that the that the rates wouldn't rise okay there's so many people out there that are just have not even close to what's going on right now people calling for 700 dollar gold and it's like even i saw on the charts that were probably going to rise right and you know, so many people, so many people week after week after week are doing their vlogs and doing their videos and doing their podcasts and saying that, you know, the interest rates are not going to rise. They're going to go to zero or they're, they're going to go to, they're going to go to minus. And so, and so there's so many people out there. And now I'm not saying that I, I didn't get everything called right. I didn't, I didn't get everything right. No, it's not about that. But what I am saying is don't be so oblivious to say, okay, well, this guy said this on YouTube, so I'm going to go do this in my, in, I'm going to go place this trade. And I had that disclaimer at the start for, for a reason, okay? Now, the reason why I say Ray Dalio is because he has, I at the end of last year, so many people were expecting more rate hikes in the, in, in uh, uh, you know, more rate hikes um, coming forward, right? Everything was looking good, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He was the only person that I saw that said, no, no, we're, we're, we're not going to get any more rate, rate hikes because it's because we, we've already pushed it too far. And long and behold, right, there's so many people that have changed their tune. I know so many people over the last six months that changed their tune from, yes, we're definitely going to get more rate hikes. Everything's looking really good to crap. We're now probably going to have to drop rates. And so... Be careful who you listen to. Ask yourself every single day, and I get this. I get this sometimes with some people that I know. It's like ask yourself: Are you really getting information from people who are living and eating, and breathing this stuff? When you listen to my YouTube videos, I'm not a fundamentalist, right? I'm a technical analyst. Like I, I trade these markets, so I can help you. Like I, I can help you become an amazing trader, right? Because it's actually not that difficult. The difficult part is you. Right, uh, the, the, it's 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 becoming a good trader is actually quite a simple process. Find a pattern that works for you and only trade that. <laughs> simple, right? But what's where do you go wrong? You 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 don't only trade that, right? You trade all this other stuff that that you think is going to make you rich. So, um, and and again, guys, when it comes down to trading, trade in these markets is as simple as that. And let me actually add something else onto that. Finding one pattern that works for you and only trade that with good risk management so you're risking very small on your account with uh and try to go for at least two to three to one risk to uh, profit to risk ratio make sense that's that's the blatant statement that you need to follow and so uh you know and and through that process guess what you can have a win-loss ratio and so on and so forth so I'm a technical analyst and there's no better, and there's no one else out there better than me when it comes to reading these charts and understanding these markets. No one out there. I don't care if you're going to find people on YouTube saying, I've been doing this for 30 years. Yeah, I'll rock your socks out, mate. Um, you know, and it's not about me being better than anyone else. It's just like, I know what I know about these markets. I'm not going to claim to say that I, I'm a know-it-all, but I'm going to, I'm going to I'm, and, and all, I'm not a fundamentalist. That's why I've been reading a lot about Ray Dalio because he's the number one guy out there. Think about it, guys. Think about it. Ray Dalio is the number one most successful investor of all time, right? By three, by three. So wouldn't it be it wouldn't it be wouldn't it be more more wouldn't it be more better of more better use of your time to be listening to people like that than this other people on YouTube where 
you know it's not what they do, right? Like when you come to me and you listen to me, I am the best out there when it comes to technical analysis and trading these markets, not investing. Investing is you buy and you don't really give a shit what happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, uh, you're more, more like a macro investor, right? Trading these markets, there's no one else out there better, better than me out there. And when I say that, um, ask any of my private clients, when, when ask any of my private clients when, when it comes to that, because the fact of the matter is guys, is that that's, that's the simple process out there. And you too can become an amazing trader. It's not luck. It's not, you're going to do really, it's not like, oh, I hope I get this trade right. It's like, no, the blatant statement is this, find one pattern that works for you. You know exactly what that pattern works, you know, you know exactly what to look for, what the pattern looks like and what the entry candle looks like. Simples. And only trade that. Then have good risk management. So you're risking very small on your account. Game over. You're gonna have some losers and you and a majority of the trades you're gonna take are gonna be are gonna be profits. Bingo bango. Which one are gonna be the losers? Which one are gonna be the profits? Who knows? Who cares? Take that. Over the next 12 months, you're going to make money. It's as simple as that. But where do you go wrong? Where do most traders go wrong? They, they, don't, they don't like to sit there, right? They don't like to sit there and do nothing. <gasps> I haven't had a trade for two weeks. I didn't care. I haven't had a trade for a whole month, John. I don't give a shit. Do nothing. Sit there. Wait. Your job is to wait. Because I guarantee you, when you take shit, you're going to get shit. Right? Put that in the comments below. When you take shit, you're going to get shit. And that's exactly the reason why most people... That's the reason why I struggled for so long in the markets because I was taking shit based on what I thought or what I hoped or what I think, tunk, thunk, <laughs> right? Guys, I'm doing this video here because I see so many people out there. I just, be careful who you follow in these markets, right? And be careful what you do. And please, 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 for the love of it, don't go read a white paper research and then trade the markets. You're, con you're incongruent, your research should be incongruent with your with your with your investing approach. So if you read a white paper saying this is the best company out there, so many people did this wrong with cryptos, right? That like they read a white paper how this is the best company and this is this and this and that da 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 da. The white paper how they're gonna come out with all these amazing ba 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 d d d, right? And guess what? That's the white paper. That's the, that's that's the potential. That's the fundamental, right? That may take twelve months, two years to finally unfold if it's going to happen on that white paper research, right? But then guess what? People go buy that crypto. <gasps> it dropped on me for the next, you know, one week later. It's actually gone against them. <gasps> oh, I better get out now. Do you see how that's to you're, you're totally incongruent? If you want to be a fundamental macro trader, then do your research. Have good risk management and let and let the thing go. Makes sense, um, but don't be don't be doing research based on fundamentals and then trade in the markets because the fundamentals mean nothing to markets, right? Absolutely nothing in the markets. Now they do long term, but short term you can have a company that that reports good earnings, but they actually have a but the stock sells off. You could the, something may seem bad in the markets, but the stocks rally. Makes sense, or you, or you may have, a, or, or you may have a really, really, really good earnings, and suddenly the, the the stock gaps. Like you know, you just never know what you just never. Just because something's good, perceived to be good in the markets, a good earnings doesn't mean it's going to be good for that share price. Like you just never know. Okay, so be careful who you are listening to. When it comes to me, I'm the best out there to teach you how to read these charts and read them properly. There's no one else out there, no one else out there more powerful or, or, or more, knows more about these markets than, than, than me when it, when it comes to technical analysis. Um, and I can, I can put anyone, I can put anyone to, anyone to that. And it's not a matter of me being lucky, it's just a matter of understanding a few simple things. Right, and you can learn those as well too. It's a few simple things, and just reading and just reading these markets. And then, but once again, guys, the way that I view these markets, the way that I'm like I'm looking at these charts right now, and the way that I trade these markets is two different things. I'm doing these market updates for you to help you and just say, go. This is what I'm seeing right now. But when it comes to trading these markets, when it comes to actually trading the markets, I trade based on what on a proven pattern that I believe in, and I take that every single time. I actually had a private client, they did. They watched one of my YouTube videos on Boeing last week. <gasps> John, there's a potential head and shoulder. Are, 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 you gonna, are you gonna short that? And I said to him, 
I said to him, that, that was just a general video. I only, only, only tag a trade once it meets the rules. And did I say only? <laughs> okay, guys, so that's, that's the path ahead there. And if you are not sticking to that one sentence, which is I own find one pattern with an entry, find one pattern that you know exactly what the pattern looks like in the entry, entry candle, find that one pattern that works for you. That's, and, and only trade that and understand good risk management and win-loss ratio within that and don't, and don't do anything else. Your problem and the reason why most people don't do in the, well in the markets is because you're taking shit. You take shit, you're going to get shit. So anyway, guys, this is a bit of a wake up call for you guys and, and a bit, bit of a shake and a bake for you guys this week is to really guys, like why are you, why, why are you part of these markets? Like, because you think it's going to be a get rich quick scheme? No, if you're, if that's for you, nick off because the market's going to keep taking your money. You might as well just keep your money in your, in your account, what you do have and not trade these markets. If you are not following that one simple sentence, find one pattern that works for you and only trade that with good risk management and understand the win-loss ratio of that system, then you are never going to get ahead long term. You may do well once in a while. You may make a million dollars in one trade. I guarantee you the next six months, you're probably going to give that back and a lot more because you got lucky in the markets.